What's up, X and YouTube? Matt A here. Today, we're going to talk about PlayStation 5 and specifically Astro Bot, okay? Now, I'm not really a big PlayStation fan. I was PlayStation 2, okay? OG, shout out to PS2, of course. But, you know, Astro Bot is turning out to be one of the amazing, one of, one of the most amazing games that I've seen lately. First of all, original from PlayStation. And let me tell you why. Well, this controller looks pretty awesome. But let me tell you why. Astro Bot reminds me of Nintendo 64's launch when they had Super Mario 64 because Astro Bot is just it's fun you know it's a platformer and it has like everything it, it's it seems like it's capturing my like childhood of having N64 because PlayStation they had Crash Bandicoot but they never really had a mascot that equaled Mario they were always kind of missing that Xbox didn't really have one at all. They also had Spyro, of course, but and Ratchet and Clank. But this looks this looks great. I love the graphic fidelity on this. We went through this, uh, you know, on the preview of the PlayStation so Showcase. This was my favorite game at the actual showcase. And it's just incredible. I mean, look at the graphics, the colors. It's so vibrant. And the gameplay was so smooth, man. Look how smooth. Look how good the artwork is. And I think it was uh, someone Yes, it was Asmongold, okay? He was talking about Elden Ring and said that graphic fidelity matters less than artwork direction. And I completely agree with that. If your art direction is really good, graphic fidelity doesn't even matter. And we can see in this, the, the little details are there. The graphic fidelity is there, but it's really the art direction that is carrying this game that is spurring up those childhood memories of like booting up N64 for the first time. You know, I might even buy a PlayStation 5 just to play this game. So, you know, uh, obviously PS5 announced uh, the Astro Bot controller, and this is pretty fun because it has a little Astro Bot eyes I think this is a home run for PS5. Let's uh, let's take a look at some of the game footage, and I will go into detail with it. Uh, let's see if we can find some uh, actual footage. All right, this game looks absolutely amazing. We're gonna just take a look at the trailer one more time. This looks so good, man. Yeah, and you can see the artwork, it's very fluid. It's definitely going to be 60 frames per second. It's just fun, man. It's just fun. This is what I'm talking about in these bright, vibrant colors. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And you can see the different landscapes coming up here. This just looks incredible. And like I said, it's the artwork direction. It's the way the fluidity plays. And the fact that we haven't had a, a new IP platformer that could match up to something like Mario. And this is great. It looks incredible. Actually, that definitely reminded me of Bowser. Remember in Mario 64, you would fight Bowser on that, uh, you know, you would fight Bowser on that platform. That reminds me exactly about, you know, that reminds me exactly of that fight with Bowser. And you saw that boss fight that they had that reminds me of Bowser. That rem reminds me of when you have to fight the bomb bomb, you know, and get those stars in Mario. Uh, and I don't know if there's like things you could collect in this one, like stars. But if there are, that's even better. But, you know, the artwork, everything about it is just fantastic. I do like this. You can see here, we're underground now. We have a bunch of different platforms going on. Oh, man, this is looks incredible. I, I forgot how good this looks. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to buy a PlayStation 5 just to play this. And you can see we have some power-ups. I really wonder why we have a bad here. I don't know if I've even seen this one, actually. Where 
there you go. That's some of the that's some of the updates on Astrobot. Uh, if you haven't checked out the game, I recommend do, I recommend checking it out. Uh, don't overlook this game. I'm an Xbox player, as you all know. Most of my stuff is around Xbox or Microsoft games. But this game is so good, it might actually. You know what? I am gonna buy a PS5 just for this game. It just looks that fun. And I do like the other thing to mention is it kind of breaks the fourth wall a little bit like Deadpool because they actually put PlayStation assets in it, right? So it kind of breaks the fourth wall. That's the video. Very slow news day, but Saturday drop. That controller looks awesome. This game looks awesome. I'm probably going to buy a PS5 for this. That's the video. Thanks for watching.